Hi, in this section we are going to cover some of the resources that you can use for analytics. We have a section towards the end of the course where we talk in a lot more detail about all kinds of resources that will be available to you as you get deeper into the field of analytics. We cover books, we cover online resources like websites, blogs, analytics communities, etc. in that section. In this particular section, we are going to talk specifically about four books that can help you as you start your journey in this field. This slide shows two good books on how to implement analytics in an organization. The first book, Analytics at Work, is written by Thomas Davenport, who's uh, written another popular book called Competing on Analytics. This book, Analytics at Work, is a sequel of the first one, Competing on Analytics. And it essentially tells managers how they can effectively deploy analytics in day-to-day -day operations. It talks about many types of analytical tools like statistical analysis or quantitative measures or qualitative measures that can improve decisions about everything from what new product offering might interest the consumers to whether marketing dollars are being most effectively deployed. So essentially this book talks about how you can use analytics at work to make better decisions and to get better results. The second book here is called Moneyball by Michael Lewis. This is a book on the use of analytics in the sports industry, specifically in the game of baseball. The book studies Oakland Athletics, a US baseball team with a payroll budget that was less than a third of some of their rivals. Despite being small, they have consistently been one of the best teams. The author shows how they leveraged analytics to get this advantage. Oakland Athletics analyzed metrics that were different from the ones traditionally looked at, but which they thought were more relevant to winning. This book is a good example of analytics being used innovatively. Both of these books talk about analytics and its usage at a very high level. You will not get into statistical techniques. For example, you will not understand what is regression analysis or how does the SAS tool work, any of those things from these books. These books are more to give you an understanding of how analytics can be applied successfully in any field. This slide has two books that are uh, really good as introduction to analytics. The first book, Data Mining Techniques by Michael Berry and Gordon Linoff is an excellent book on some of the most widely used analytic techniques. It starts off with defining data mining in the current business context and then summarizes some of the best practices in data mining. The book talks about some useful statistical concepts like p-value and chi-square as it takes the readers through the process of building a model. It then goes on to explain analytic algorithms like decision trees, market basket analysis, clustering, link analysis, and survival analysis. The book is full of useful industry examples. This is the first book recommended for anyone who's interested in analytics. The second book that we have here is Data Mining Cookbook by Olivier Parrout. This book provides a detailed understanding of the analytics methodology. It lists out several best practices that any good analyst would swear by. The author primarily uses logistic regression as a technique of choice and SAS and Excel as the tools. The book has a very brief description of analytics, so make sure you have some understanding of the field before you get to this book. However, this book will be really useful for those who are thinking of practicing analytics using SAS. The book has a lot of interesting SAS quotes and it has a lot of good examples where uh, the author has used SAS to perform analytics and resolve business problems. So these are essentially the resources that you can use as you start your journey in analytics. As I mentioned earlier, towards the end of the course, we'll have another module in which we'll cover more resources on analytics with a lot more detail. We will cover not only books, but we'll cover online resources like websites, blogs, forums, and uh, even YouTube channels that uh, any analyst will find useful.